It is in your power to decide what to do with any kind of information in your life. You get to decide what you are willing to do and what you are not willing to do. Nobody else has the power to change your decision or make you do anything against your will. People believe themselves to be helpless because of the external stigma, but help is always available. You are never helpless. You can never be helpless because you have the power of your brain. Your brain has the ability to shape situations. Your brain has the ability to bend rivers. Your brain has the ability to shape your life into whatever you decide to be. It is the power of your thoughts that creates a moment, and then they become the cause of a belief in your subconscious mind. The way you carry yourself and your attitude towards life play a huge role in manifesting your reality. You might think that you are worthless or that your life is just meaningless. People learn over time to believe that their lives do not contribute anything to this world, but that is not true. From the time you are alive, you have the ability to contribute to this world however you want. It does not have to be something big that you need to contribute to. You can always start small. You just need to use the power of your mind to contribute to the well-being of this planet. You do not have to get involved politically with some large parties and you do not have to be someone who is feeding the poor and needy. Nothing drastic has to be done. Even if you can look at other people with compassion and care, that can be enough from you to contribute to the harmony and peace of society for that day. It is how you decide to act with other people that is going to affect the harmony of the whole community. The more you try to work towards that peace and harmony, the more you will find people who have the same thoughts as you. Finding more like-minded people will bring you closer more towards your goal of achieving peace in the world. There's this quote from Robert Shuller who works with the UN and he said that as a human species we deserve to have peace and we have to accept it mentally. A lot of people believe that war is inevitable and by thinking that they are contributing to it. It is our thinking and beliefs not just for ourselves but also for the world that make up the bigger picture. You are not just a small part in the background or just another person. You are a contributor to the big picture until the very moment that you are alive. If you believe that something is possible, then it is definitely going to happen one day. A peace comes from within ourselves first, then it has to be mutual with the people around you. You get to be in harmony with your friends and family. You begin to be in harmony with the people that you meet daily in your life so on and so forth which will create a ripple effect from one person to another creating a peaceful community in one place and taking it to the whole world we are not just present in one place we are connected on a a spiritual level with all the people around the world our spirituality is the soul that connects us to the eternal source of power and keeps us united. We are all humans and our sole purpose is to spread love on this earth. We as humans deserve love. We deserve positivity, to be nurtured and to be in harmony. There's no need for a mediator in your relationship with God. You are enough to have connection and harmony with your inner self and the eternal source of power. The more you connect with your inner self and the more you practice meditation, the more it will come back to you. You will radiate positivity and positivity will come back to you. You can start practicing meditation by closing your eyes once a day and looking deep into yourself. You need to let all the thoughts quiet down and be present in the moment with yourself only. Every time you do that again and again, you will be connecting with people who are also doing it for themselves. We are connecting spiritually with people who have similar thoughts as you. Every time you visualize yourself healing your body or bringing peace to this planet, you're connecting spiritually with other like-minded people. Your thoughts might be frustrating in the beginning. They might be running here and there. Your thoughts might be creating a rumble inside you. But let that all settle down. It will happen with practice. Let all the negative emotions against anybody, any community, any race, any caste or any creed leave your body. Do not let these negative emotions be a part of you. Do not let these negative emotions be a part of your thought process. To create harmony on the outside, you need to begin with peace inside. Inner harmony will automatically create harmony on the outside. If you want to heal the world, you need to heal what's broken inside of you first. Each one of us has the ability to do that. It is like a chain reaction that begins and continues to grow tremendously. You will be touching lives. You will be changing lives without even knowing it. 
you will be creating vibrational energy that can attract more people. It's the inner peace and harmony that reach out and touch other people's lives. It's very easy to understand. Don't you see when there's a certain someone who just walks into a room and you feel tremendously attracted and impressed by their vibrations? Or do you just look at somebody and you simply don't like them? You do not need to communicate with words. You just feel their vibration. We certainly do radiate the energy that we have on the inside. So make sure that you work on your self-realization in order to bring harmony and peace to this world. For you to be able to change the world, you need to first change yourself. A willful change, that's the way it has to be. Self-realization is the path to being honest with our inner selves. Accepting who we truly are is honesty. Stop hiding it from yourself. We tend to believe that we are not negative at all and that nothing is our fault. But is that really true? Find the fault in yourself that needs to be changed. It is not only a bad vibration for the people around you, but it is very self-destructive as well. If you're being judgmental of others, judging them on every single thing that they are doing and you look down upon them, that's self-destructing. If you are always angry at others, then you will find more reasons to be angry everywhere you go. If you are disrespectful of people's time and waste it for yourself as well, then it will all come back to you. Every new negative action that you take will have a negative effect on your life in some way or another. Identify it. Identify it for yourself. Healing begins with the ability to acknowledge and accept our own faults. Every step that you take to change will nourish your soul. Every little effort that you put into being a better version of yourself will be a very rewarding experience for your inner self. It might be very difficult for you but it is indeed very rewarding. If you will continue to be convinced that this world works based on an eye for an eye, then that is what you're going to experience in your life. Every belief that you hold is the way the world around you is going to manifest. You see this world the way you want it to be. You are the source of life. You are a part of divinity itself. Your thoughts are the expression of life. Your thoughts have the power to change everything around you. So keep looking on the inside every now and then. The more you can do it, the better it will be. Take control of your own life. Don't let it work on autopilot. Don't let the circumstances take charge of your life. Be honest with yourself. Be true to yourself. Inspect yourself with the intention of making a fruitful change that can nourish you from within. Be open to new ideas. Do not block your thought process by thinking that you know everything. If you believe that you know everything, you won't ever accept anything new in life. Take a chance every day. Enhance your experiences with life. Try new things. Explore a new avenue every day to allow your consciousness to expand its horizons. Work on yourself only. People believe that it is always someone else's fault. We never take the blame on ourselves. We try to protect ourselves by lying to our inner selves. We believe that we are not addicted to anything, that addiction only comes in the form of chemicals like drugs. But we are surrounded by a ton of addiction in our lives. Some people are addicted to the overuse of social media. Some people are addicted to food as they try to comfort themselves from the overstimulation around them. Or simply an addiction to finding fault in other people. Everything that they do seems to be wrong. You're always looking at the world through a negative lens. It doesn't matter what they are doing. You always ignore the good in them and only consider their negative points. It is the addiction that affects you and your inner selves negatively. If you really want to get addicted to anything, then why not change your addiction from negative to positive? Change yourself, love yourself, get addicted to loving yourself, get addicted to healing yourself, find new ways of restoring your inner peace, get addicted to that. The change doesn't have to happen overnight. It has to be a continuous process because you have this beautiful mind that has the ability to change the world. It's only the power of your mind that you need to change the world and bring back harmony and peace. Once you restore the peace inside of you, it will continue to affect the people around you. Your inner priest will reflect on your external environment and as a result, inner peace can spread to the people around you. Never believe anything else. You are important. You are life itself.